So we're here at Bash in Berlin, and you are in the thick of it with Nia Jax right now. Tell me where that originated from, that hatred towards her, and uh, how are you feeling about the rivalry at the moment? Uh, well, it did you did you want me to hold this or just what? Okay, whatever is easier for you. <laughs> um, well, it all started when uh, she mentioned AJ. She needs to learn to keep his name out his mouth out, out her mouth. Number one, um, so that that's what popped everything off. But even with her, I respect her as a wrestler. But ever since becoming the queen of the ring and now champion, it's like wow, her head just. Boop, it's like, no, we need to bring it down a bit, give her, get her back into the humble lifestyle. Um, but I think it all started, honestly, because she wanted to talk about AJ and um, I'm a ride or die. And whether me and the OC and if AJ still don't like me, it don't matter. I'm still going to I'm still going to fight for him. That's loyalty right there. Now, what did you make of that time on the road with the OC, AJ Styles, Gallows, Anderson. It must have been incredible, and you must have learned so much from those guys as well. They've had so much experience, haven't they? They are still family to me, even though we don't really talk that often. We're not a group anymore, but they are still family to me. They have taken great care of me, especially on the road. Being, I'm used to driving to show to show by myself, and it's always AJ like, hey, let, let us know when you make it in. Like, Make sure that you're good. If you need to ride with us, like, please feel free. And it's just reassuring to know that I have a group that is willing to look out for me and to make sure that I was always safe. Um, and... There has been several incidences where, like, Luke and Carl had to sandwich me to protect me from crazy people. So I felt very safe and secure with them. And they also taught me how to tan and oil up. So I'll never take that for granted. <laughs> how would you compare working with Triple H on the main roster to Shawn Michaels in NXT as well? Because when you talk about people with wisdom, there's not many other people in the industry that have more wisdom than them. So what were your experience like with those guys? I had great experiences with the both of them. Honestly, Hunter was a reason why I wanted to come back in the first place, but going to NXT and working with Shawn Michaels, because when I was in NXT, that was when Hunter was running. Um, so I didn't really have a lot of experience with Shawn, but going back to NXT and talking to him and getting his insight, he's so smart. He knows what he's talking about, and it's just so easy to just follow his lead because he knows what he's doing, but it's just so cool to work on the main roster with Hunter, and then when I go to NXT, it's with Shawn michaels is like it's like two of the same coin really um so it's it's a blast on both ends and i appreciate any and every little insight that they're willing to offer i feel like wwe is in the best place it's ever been right now when you look at the level of talent including yourself the it is ridiculous and when you look at cm punk coming back the rock joining the board what did you make of those two moments and have you had interactions with those two since they've come back I felt like a kid again. I remember the, one of the main reasons why I got into wrestling was because I was a big rock fan. The Rock and Mankind. Oh, the Rock and Saw connection? Come on now. So, like, when he came back, I hate to admit it, but I cried. And I got to talk to him and to take a picture with him. And it, you could tell that I was crying when I was talking to him. But he was just so friendly and so kind and was willing to actually listen to like our stories and to give genuine feedback. Um, so it was really, really cool to actually meet him and talk to him. And with CM Punk, like I, it's funny because I always thought I was going to cross paths with him in the independence. But by the time I started to travel a lot more, he got... He got signed, so I never got a chance to meet him until he came back. And Keith gave me the heads up, like, yeah, he's a great dude, like, you'll like him. But I'm very, um, I'm an introvert and shy, so naturally I'm like, I'll just, I'll leave him alone until I don't want to bother him, things like that. But we, he ended up, uh, I think, like, the coolest experience with him is for, uh, we went to Bloodsport and me and my sister called an uber and he was leaving and he's like hey just jump in the uber with me so we all rode back to the hotel together and it was just cool to like talk about our dogs and just real life stuff i'm like man you're just cool like you're just a cool human being um so now it's, just, it's nice to just interact with the both of them and just to be like i can't believe these are the two men that i looked up to growing up and now they're, I'm just having genuine conversations with them. What is life? <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I'm like a kid again as well. Yeah. And what do you make of the, the Endeavor acquisition? Very, very exciting. And the move to Netflix as well. It's going to open up so many possibilities. 
more eyes than ever right now. Absolutely. I think the move to Netflix, um, even to uh, from Fox to USA, like it's just such good moves. And especially with Netflix, too, because me and me and Keith have done a like WWE movie for Netflix. I'm like, man, this not only opens up new eyes for people to watch us, but for us to walk through different avenues of doing like Netflix shows or Netflix movies. So I think it's just beneficial on every end. Amazing. And in terms of your career, are there any dream matches out there for you? Anyone that you've not faced yet, whether it's a legend that we could bring back? I know Trish Stratus has dipped a, a toe back in every now and again. Is there anyone else out there that you'd love to fight one-on-one -on, -one on a PLE? Oh, like, like a legend? Legend or anyone active on the roster right now? Oh, boy. Does, does it have to be a girl? Anybody, I have, okay. anybody. I have two answers, one female, one male. So I would love to wrestle jazz, love to wrestle jazz. Um, and for the men, I've always, I'm a big intergender fan, so I've always wanted to wrestle, of course, AJ Styles and or Kevin Owens. I think those two are like my dream men matches currently right now. <laughs> I hope it happens. Well, <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Really appreciate your time. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much.